welcome to my channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials today we will discuss classification of steam boilers so let us start with the introduction about the boiler as per the definition steam boiler is a closed vessel in which heat produced by the combustion of fuel is utilized to produce steam from water at desired temperature and pressure according to the ibr that is indian boiler regulation boiler is a closed pressure vessel with capacity exceeding 22.75 liters for generating steam under pressure it includes all the mountings fitted to such vessels which remains wholly or partly under pressure the boiler used for power generation is heavy considerably large capacity and steam is produced at a higher pressure to get high efficiency of the turbine the boiler used for process heating and is generate steam at a lower pressure it is generally smaller in size and simpler in design classification of boiler according to the geometric orientation of the boiler if the axis of the boiler is horizontal the boiler is known as a horizontal boiler example lancashire boiler locomotive boiler if the axis of the boiler is vertical it is known as a vertical boiler example kuchran boiler and if the axis of the boiler is inclined it is known as a inclined boiler so as per the geometric orientation of the boiler boiler having a three types horizontal boiler vertical boiler and inclined boiler according to the relative position of water and hot gases fire tube boilers if the hot gases of combustion from the furnace passes through the tubes and water is surrounding the tubes is called fire tube boiler in the simple way if hot gases it will be inside the tubes that all kind of boiler it will be said to be a fire tube boiler and remaining portion or surroundings by that particular pipe that will be called as a water water tube boiler if the water passes through the tubes and hot gases surroundings the tubes is called a water tube boiler as per the figure shows that the water it will be inside the tubes and hot gases it will be surrounded by the tubes so heat transfer take place from surroundings to inside the tubes and water it will be heated so basically fire tube boiler hot gases it will be inside the tubes in water tube boilers water inside the tubes according to the location of the furnace so it will be having a two types externally fired boilers and internally fired boilers in the case of external fire boilers the furnace is placed outside the boiler cell water tube boilers are always externally fired boiler in case of internally fired boiler furnace is placed inside the boiler cell most of the fire tube boilers are internally fired boiler fourth according to the method of water circulations so natural circulation of the boiler in this boiler water flows takes place naturally by the temperature difference of the water the low capacity boilers usually the natural cir circulations for for the examples lancashire boiler babcock and wilcox boiler fourth circulation boiler in this boiler water flows is take place by a pump so high pressure boilers are always said to be a fourth circulation boiler as per the examples benson boiler velox boiler lamont boiler according to the working pressures so this one is the criteria for selection of the boiler as per my engineering applications high pressure boiler the working pressure of the boiler is higher than the 25 bar as per the example babcock and wilcox boiler medium pressure boiler the range of the working pressure of this boiler is between 10 bar to 25 bar pressure example lancashire boiler and locomotive boiler 
low pressure boiler the range of working pressure is between 3.5 bar to 10 bar kuchran boiler and cornish boiler according to the mobility of the boiler stationary boiler this boiler cannot be transported easily from one place to the another place the stationary boilers are used for power generations or process heating into industries for for the example lancaster boiler and babcock wilcox boiler mobile boiler it is a portable boiler and can be easily transported or you can say the move from one place to another place this boiler is used in a marine and locomotive as examples locomotive boilers according to the number of tubes used into the boiler single tube boiler this boiler having only one fire tube or water tube for circulation of the hot gases or water as per the example cornish boiler multi tube boiler this boiler having a two or more fire or water tubes for the circulation of hot gases or water so the examples locomotive boiler kochran boiler lancaster boiler and babcock wilcox boiler some of the advantages of water tube boiler over the fire tube boiler the heating surface of the boiler is greater require a small floor area compared to the fire tube boiler the fuel is completely burned due to the large heating area a good and fast circulation of the water can be possible and the temperature is maintained uniform throughout the different parts of the boiler steam can be raised more quickly therefore it can be used for variable loads the different part of the boiler can be separated therefore easier to transport some of the disadvantages of the water tube boilers scale deposition will cause overheating and bursting of the tubes proper control system is required to maintain constant level of water as there is small reserves of water comparison of the water tube boiler and fire tube boiler according to the position of water and hot gases in case of fire tube boiler hot gases inside the tubes in case of water tube boiler water inside the tubes operating pressures in case of fire tube boiler that will be the limited up to the 16 bar in case of water tube boiler it can be high pressure up to the 100 bar rate of the steam generation or you can say the capacity of the boiler fire tube boiler having a lower capacity as compared to water tube boiler suitability not suitable for the large power plant and that will be a fire tube boiler in case of water tube boiler suitable for the large power generations chance of explosions in case of fire tube boiler less explosive because of the low pressure boiler more due to the high pressure floor space requirement in case of fire tube boiler it will be the more in case of water tube boiler it will be less cost wise fire tube boiler having a less cost in case of water tube boiler having a more cost requirement of the skills in case of fire tube boilers less skill is required in case of water tube boiler higher skill is required as per the use fire tube boiler producing or process steam where water tube boiler producing steam for power generation as well as the process heating scale deposition and overheating there is no water tubes no problems of the scale depositions and the less problem of overheating or bursting in fire tube boiler in water tube boiler small deposition of the scale will be cause of 